Hi, my name is Kelly Bowman. Um, I am in Puyallup, Washington, and the zebra condition I'm talking about is Schwachmann Diamond Syndrome. Schwachmann Diamond Syndrome is a genetic condition that has two primary components. One is pancreatic insufficiency, and then the other piece is bone marrow failure, which has a lot of different manifestations from uh, anemia and significantly low white count, typically not protective against common diseases, and then also uh, a, a very high risk for leukemia. There's a lot of different medical impacts to that, um, some of which impact daily life for folks. A challenge for my niece is when she does have a reaction to something, the treatment of a, of a fever for her is very different than for any other child. She doesn't have the white counts to protect. And so there, there's a whole different protocol for her when she goes to the emergency room, which is often a challenge because many medical professionals are not aware of this. It's a, it's a fairly rare condition. So diagnosis was actually one of the biggest challenges that my brother and sister-in-law had. This is a disease that is typically not diagnosed until kids are two to four years old. And so they're living again with this pancreatic insufficiency and low white count throughout that time. In my niece's case, through a series of tests and through some very strong persistence on the part of her parents, um, they did a full blood workup that identified the pancreatic insufficiency at four months. So she was actually started on enzymes at four months, which made a huge difference for her. The actual SDS diagnosis still came several months later. It's one where there's a lot of different things that are ruled out first. I believe she was about seven months old when they got the definitive diagnosis of Schwachmann Diamond. I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse for over 20 years. And no, I had never heard of this until my niece was diagnosed with it. Um, and it was my sister-in-law who was sharing with me a lot of what they had learned first. And then I went out and did some of my own research. I've asked colleagues that have worked in pediatrics, and they also had not heard of this before. It's always a challenge to try to explain what Schwachmann Diamond is. She's going to spend the night somewhere and, and they want parents to be able to have some awareness as to what it means and what they should be looking out for. There's also a need for a greater understanding and just awareness of what this is in the medical community. If they are out of town on vacation and they have to go to the emergency room for something like a, a fever or some kind of an infection that she acquires, um, they have to do the explanation as far as what it is, what it means, what the treatment recommendations are. The idea that we're doing this and that, that there's an effort by Elsevier to um, help to embrace zebra conditions and to be able to share that knowledge and share the ability to explain things is just it's it's one of the first times i've had the opportunity to do something for annabelle it's one of the few times where my work can actually potentially impact how she's able to navigate her, her life in general um, with her disease for everybody for every zebra condition that we're doing this for there's people that are going to feel that way and so that's that's where it matters for me to learn more visit www.osmosis.org zebra